I'm a bit in shock, Philip, to be honest. Looks like after a storm. Funny that. This is like crazy. There's, I don't know how many trees fall in here. Uh, I know this is going to take forever to cut these down. Some of the hydrangeas have been damaged as well, but that's probably the least of our worries. Look at this, it's such a mess, Anna. I'm really sad. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur en fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's a mess. I mean, it looks like we've lost, I don't know how many trees. It's just chaos in the back garden. I mean, I knew it was stormy last night. It was really, really windy, right? It was, I've never experienced anything like that. I was really scared. And I think I woke up in about three in the morning and you weren't in the bed. And I was like, where are you? You hadn't taken your phone. I tried to call you and I could just hear the wind outside. Where did you disappear off to at three in the morning? I, I felt there was something wrong, apart from the horrible noise that the storm made, but I, there was a bit of a draft or something. And when I opened the door from our apartment, you know, the staircase, I felt a gust. I felt it's really windy inside the house and that's not good. So I went down the stairs and, and found two windows open because the storm just blew some windows open. One in the kitchen and one in the salon and all the leaves came inside. I can't even imagine the mess that would have been in the chateau if yeah. you hadn't closed them. And the funny thing is we both felt in the bed, the house moving, and we have walls, I mean, like this. But still, it was like little, like, almost like an earthquake, you know, a light earthquake. I've never been so scared in my life, Philip. I actually thought that the house might fall down. I mean, I know that's exaggerating, but seriously, it felt like a mini earthquake or something. That's how strong the wind was. And this morning, I was going to let you have a lion because you weren't feeling great. And I walked down the stairs and then I just looked out of the window on the staircase and then I shouted, Philip! And I was like in shock. If you look up there, Philip, can you see? 
It looks like it's lost a couple of massive branches at the top. Oh yeah, definitely lost a third of its height. And that was our oldest tree here. I think that, was, that tree is over a thousand years old. One branch is left, but there was another one here. That was a massive tree that fell down. Philip, I think by some miracle, the Judas tree might be okay. There is like two trees that fell down, but around it. Is that possible? Somehow, look, I mean, this is like, carnage here this is like crazy there's I don't know how many trees fall in here but somehow the Judas tree in the middle is okay it's like the trees fell around this tree this is really incredible this is crazy it's like the miracle tree it's, it's literally untouched isn't it yep and the bench yeah oh my goodness I'm so happy Philip because this is one of my favorite trees I'd be devastated if this had been damaged this other tree has literally fallen within, I don't know, a meter of the tree. Yes. And there's even branches that fell in between this gap here, but it didn't damage, it didn't fall on the tree. And look at the bench. And the bench is fine. That would have been crushed if that had just fallen here. There's so much mess here, Philip. I can't even work out how many trees are down. There's one, two, three. This is a sycamore. You see there's a massive branch just hanging within the other tree. So we need to get this one down because this could come down any time. And it's funny, sometimes they're really wonky trees and they're still up there. And the nice straight trees, they came down. Look at this one. I was sure this one would go. You see the one behind that grows like this? It's still there. Where's that come from? That's a massive branch. It's like separated. It must have like flown through the air and been and landed here. So I can't even tell which tree that's come off. This came all the way from up here somewhere and then it came all the way down and landed here. The reason for these trees to come down is because they grew so densely and the, the trunks are too skinny and the crowns are searching for light. And then the wind comes and they fall down like dominoes. It doesn't look nice up there. There's a lot of sycamore trees amongst the fallen ones and that's rather good news because they would have needed to come down anyway so maybe in the end we saved some money well i think the silver lining is we'll have plenty of firewood and wood chippings for the mulching so that's good well we already had firewood for the next 10 years so <laughs> now we have it for the next no, 15. No, exactly ah. Some of the hydrangeas have been damaged as well, but that's probably the least of our worries. Yeah, they will grow back. Philip, what was this tree? A beech tree. A beech tree amongst the stupid trees. And the stupid trees brought it down because they are stupid trees. Look at this, it's such a mess, Anna. I think it's going to take about two weeks to clear up, Philip. Yeah, with five people. If it's the two of us, it's going to take longer. But you know what's good? Your father's coming. Yes, <laughs> there's going to be some wood chopping for my dad when he comes, for sure. Maybe we shouldn't show this video before he's coming, otherwise he changes his mind. Yeah, I mean, he knew he was coming to do some gardening, but I don't think this is what he was expecting. I think I have to warn you guys, there's going to be some wood cutting time lapses in the future. And look, there's just another massive tree that came down here. All over here. Have you seen the slates on the floor? Yeah, 
I spotted those from the window of the stairs. I checked already in the attic and there's no major hole in the roof. So they came up from the side of the windows. Oh yeah, I can see up there. Yeah. Do you think that we'll be able to salvage any of these? Well, there's loads that have come off and I think there's definitely some that are completely broken so we won't be able to salvage them. This one might be okay. I think this one is definitely past repair. Isn't it ironic? Now there's a blue sky and everything is so peaceful and quiet. Yeah, it's the calm after, after the, the storm, storm or before the storm. Just heard in the news that there's 250,000 houses in Normandy without electricity. Wow. Well, we were lucky then. Yeah, I think so. Could have been worse. Should we go to the Longere and see what happened? Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit scared though. Right. Have you seen here? Branches everywhere. Who's going to clean this? I think I'm going to start now. Or Nathan. I think we should definitely call Nathan if he's got time. Looks like after a storm. Funny that. That's what my mom said before. Look at this beautiful chestnut tree branch. That's a pity. Okay, I have done this area. Now it's your turn to do this area. Where the bench is. <laughs> I don't think so. There's no much point in moving those around. I just need to come with the shredder, the chainsaw, and the energy that I right now don't have because I have a bit of a man flu. <laughs> right, let's go to the Manger. I'm just happy this tree is still standing. It's our favorite tree, the old chestnut tree. So beautiful. Really happy it hasn't suffered. Oh no, I think the walnut tree's lost a couple of branches though. Look. But the main good news is, Philip, the longhouses are still okay. I was yes. worried that maybe one of the roofs would have uh, blown off. Me too. It looks all right. It doesn't have more holes than it had already. I think there is a tree down in the cow field though. Can you see it? The cows don't look too traumatised, luckily. They probably forgot already. They're probably having a nap. They probably didn't sleep much last night. Oh wow. Ah oh, yeah. That was a massive branch. Basically, the top of this tree has come down. Careful on top of your head, Anna. You see, the branch is still hanging in the bushes. Oh my God, yeah. So that, that will come down. Oh wow, what's that, Philip? 
another massive, is oh, it a okay. tree or is it the top of a tree? I think it's a crown. Let's go and have a look. I can't tell where it's come from. There's a massive branch suspended in the air. This is very dangerous here. Oh yes, no, this is really dangerous. There's no way the kids can play in the back garden from now on before all these things are sorted. Now, with all these trees coming down, we have a bit more light coming in. So many trees here are way too big, way too high, and they're old and fragile. And in order to continue having a forest here, we need to replant. So in 20 years, there will be new, fresh, young, strong trees. But they wouldn't grow if you don't make up some space. And if they can't get any light, they don't grow either. So there's a phase of destruction before new growth will happen. So this is just nature's plan? No, nature doesn't care. It's my plan. But you know, I'm very glad that the chapel has survived. There could have been easily a tree falling on top of it. Yeah, that's good news. Philip, I'm really sad. You know that lovely tree that the girls always played in? It's gone. Oh no. Yeah, come and have a look. I don't even know if we should be in here actually. It was this tree here, it was like three trees that grew together and the girls could kind of climb in between them and it was like a little den. It was really magical. And now it's gone. I mean, it looks, I don't even know if I can climb over there to see. These are massive trees, look at this. And this is gonna take forever to cut these down. Philip. Have you seen the size? Come and have a look. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is crazy. How come we didn't hear these trees falling? I have no idea. Maybe that was, Philip, yes. maybe that's what when we felt the vibrations. Oh, maybe. Oh, you're yeah, right. Or maybe it wasn't the wind, it was the trees falling down. That's possible. I mean, I really think that would have made the ground move a lot. I mean, look at the size of it. But Philip, I'm actually really, really sad because this felt like a woodland and now it feels super open and it was just this magical tree that, you know, it was one of those ones that had, I mean, how old is that? That's hundreds of years old, that tree. Maybe we can go around the other way and have a look. No, no, don't go under it, Philip. No, Philip. Is it safe to do that, you think? Yes. Huh? Well, it would be very unlucky to, if it came down. Right, when you climb underneath it. <gasps> oh, God, look at, look at it. <sighs> look at this massacre. So there was like that one over there, this one here, and this one. Yeah. And they, I think they had grown together as a... It's quite surprising that this one is left. But you know what? I think this is now very dangerous because... Well, he's lost his stability. Oh, that's going to have to come down for sure. Oh, yes. <gasps> that is dangerous, that one. Oh, are we trapped? We are trapped now. Okay, we need to come maybe Hold out on. this way. We go back the way we came, Philip. No, there's no way to get out here. So we need to go back. I think we might need to go inside. It started raining. Come on, we'll have to come back later. I'm really sad. This vlog will probably be a bit shorter than usual, as we have a lot of cleaning to do. After our initial shock, we consider ourselves quite lucky, as we haven't suffered any major damage on the chateau or the outbuildings. And there seem to be no human casualties or injuries in the region, which is quite a miracle, given that the storm reached speeds of 175 kilometers per hour. 
If you like our videos and want to help keep them coming, please consider becoming a patron and gain access to exclusive videos and behind the scenes content. This week, for example, there will be a live Q&A for all the questions you have about us and our Chateau adventure. Thanks for being with us in good times and in bad times. We really appreciate it.